Hello mga ka-JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about the sum and the product of roots of quadratic equations. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to Describe the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of a quadratic equation and write the quadratic equation given its roots. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload ko mga video lessons. Pindutin ang like button sa ibaba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo. So, let's begin! If the roots of a quadratic equation are x sub 1 and x sub 2, then x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a and x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. So, ang ibig sabihin niya dito, yung quadratic equation daw ay merong roots na i-denote natin as x sub 1 at x sub 2. Ito yung dalawang roots ng given quadratic equation. Then, kapag pinag-add daw natin dalawang roots na yun, that is equal to negative b over a. And kapag pinag-multiply naman natin, yun ay equal sa c over a. Okay? Yung a, b, and c dito, ito yung coefficient ng quadratic equation. So, ang gagawin lang natin is, kukunin lang natin yung mga values ng coefficient na a, b, c, tapos isasubstitute lang natin dito sa given formula, then makukuha na natin yung sum and product nung roots nung isang quadratic equation. Okay, bigay tayo ng example. Find the sum and the product of the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. So, ang tanong dito is ano daw yung sum at product nung roots? So, hindi niya, itina hindi niya tinatanong kung ano ba yung roots. Hindi niya pinaposolve kung ano yung roots. Ang tinatanong niya, ano ba daw yung sum and product nung roots ng given quadratic equation. So, makukuha natin yon by using this formula. Ito yung sa sum, ito yung sa product. So, the values of a, b, and c in the equation are 2, 8, and negative 10 respectively. So, kailangan natin yung mga values ng a, b, c para makuha natin yung sum and product nung, nung roots nung isang quadratic equation. So, solve natin sum of the roots. So, gagamitin natin itong formula na ito para makuha natin yung sum ng roots ng isang quadratic equation. So, ito yung, equation, ito yung formula natin. And then, substitute lang natin yung value ng b at a. Ang value ng b natin ay 8. Ang value ng a natin ay 2. And then, i-divide lang natin. Negative 8 divided by 2, that is negative 4. So, the sum of the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 is negative 4. So, nakuha na natin yung sum ng roots ng quadratic equation, di ba? So, hindi na natin kailangang isolve pa yung roots para makuha yung sum ng roots ng quadratic equation. Kung baga, nagsishortcut tayo dito. Next is, ano ba yung product of the roots? So, given yung formula na kapag pinag-multiply mo daw yung dalawang roots, makuha natin ay c over a. Then, substitute lang natin yung value ng c at a. Yung c natin ay negative 10. So, palitan natin si c ng negative 10. And si a naman ay 2. So, ito siya. And then, divide natin. Negative 10 divided by 2, that is negative 5. So, nakuha na natin yung product ng roots ng given quadratic equation ng hindi, hindi natin sinosolve or um, hinahanap yung roots ng quadratic equation. So, the product of the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 is negative 5. So, nakuha natin no, yung sum and product of the roots nang hindi natin alam kung ano ba yung roots niya. Okay? Kung gusto naman natin i-check, pwede rin. So, para ma-check natin ito, hahanapin natin yung roots niya or isosolve natin yung quadratic equation. So, dito, find the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 using any methods of solving quadratic equation. Then, determine the sum and product of the roots that will be obtained. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng kahit anong method dito. 
kahit anong, ma- anong method, kung ano yung mas madaling method sa atin sa pagkuha ng roots nito. Okay? Then, after natin makuha yung roots na yon, i-add natin at i-multiply. Tapos, titignan natin kung equal sila dito sa nakuha nating answer sa unang pagsusolve natin. Okay? The roots of the equation are 1 and negative 5. So, ito na nasolve ko na. Nakuha kong roots ay 1 and negative 5. And then, find the sum and the product of these roots. So, a-add ko lang siya at i-multiply. Tapos, tignan natin kung magiging equal siya dito sa negative 4 and negative 5. So, let x sub 1 equals 1 and x sub 2 equals negative 5. So, ito yung dalawang roots nitong given quadratic equation. Bago lang natin, sum of the roots, a-add lang natin siya. So, x sub 1 plus x sub 2, 1 plus negative 5, ito yon 1 and negative 5, add lang natin, makukuha natin ay negative 4. So, makikita natin dito na yung sum of the roots nga ay negative 4. So, parehas lang siya dun sa na-solve natin dun, dun sa unang pag-solve. And then, product of the roots. So, multiply lang natin yung dalawang given roots. So, 1 times negative 5, that is negative 5. Kung makikita natin, Parehas lang yun nakuha nating answer dun sa unang pag-solve natin nung product of the roots, negative 5. So, ibig sabihin yan, tama yung answer natin dito. Okay, example number 2. Find the sum and the product of the roots of x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0. So, the values of a, b, and c in the equation are 1, 7, and negative 18 respectively. So, same question sa example number 1. Ang pinapahanap ay sum at product. So, hindi niya pinapahanap kung ano yung roots. So, hanapin natin si sum of the roots. Given yung quadratic formula, palitan natin ng, ang value ng b at a. So, yung value ng b natin dito ay 7. So, palitan natin si b ng 7. Si a naman ay 1. Ito yung a natin, 1. Then, simplify lang. Negative 7 divided by 1. That is negative 7. So, the sum of the roots of x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0 is negative 7. And then, product of the roots naman. So, gamitin natin yung given formula. x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. So, palitan lang natin si c at a. So, si c ay negative 18. Palitan natin ng negative 18. And si a naman ay 1. So, negative 18 divided by 1. That is negative 18. So, the product of the roots of x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0 is negative 18. So, nakuha na natin ang sum at product nung roots ng x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0 nang hindi natin alam kung ano ba yung roots niya. Okay? So, parang ano siya, shortcut. Okay. Um... I-check naman natin ngayon kung tama ba yung nakuha natin answer na negative 7 sa sum at negative 18 sa product. So, i-check natin siya by getting the roots. So, find the roots of x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0 using any methods of solving quadratic equation. So, kayo nang bahala kung ano method yung gusto nyo gamitin kung ano yung uh, mas appropriate na method na gami- pwedeng gamitin dyan sa quadratic equation. Then, after nyo makuha yung roots, i-add nyo or um, is, i-multiply yung nakuha nyo dalawang roots. The roots of the equation are 2 and negative 9. So, nasolve, na na, 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 nasolve ko na yan. Yung nakuha natin, nakuha kong roots or solutions ay 2 at negative 9. So, gagawin ko, find the sum and the product of these roots. A-add ko lang itong dalawang Um, roots na ito at i-multiply. Tapos titignan natin kung pares lang ba yung nakuha natin makukuha natin answer doon sa unang pag-solve natin. Okay, let x sub 1 equals 2 and x sub 2 equals negative 9. So, sum of the roots, pag-add lang natin yung dalawang roots. So, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals 2 plus negative 9. So, 2 plus negative 9, that is negative 7. So, pares siya, di ba? Negative 7 na kuha natin dito sa una, tapos negative 7 dito. And then, check naman natin si product of the roots, kung negative 18 nga siya. So, pag-multiply lang natin yung nakuha nating roots dito, 
So, 2 times negative 9, that is negative 18. So, parehas lang. Okay? Determining a quadratic equation given its roots. So, nung una, um, given yung quadratic equation, hinahanap natin yung roots. Ngayon naman, baligtad. Given yung roots, hahanapin natin yung quadratic equation. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang method dito. So, the following are two different ways of determining a quadratic equation whose roots are 5 and 12. So, given yung dalawang roots na 5 and 12, hahanapin natin yung quadratic equation. So, ito yung method 1 natin. Sa method 1, kung natatanan nyo pa yung pag, uh, process ng pag-solve ng quadratic equation, yung paghanap ng roots, i-reverse lang natin yung mga steps na yun. Pabaligtad. So, given yung dalawang roots, ililipat lang natin itong 5 sa left side, makuha natin x minus 5 equals 0. Sa so, 12 naman, ibabalik din natin sa left side, makukuha natin ay x minus 12 equals 0. So, pabaligtad yung steps natin, no? And then, itong x minus 5 at saka x minus 12, ito yung magiging dalawang factor natin. Kung natatandaan nyo, doon sa pag-solve ng quadratic equation, ito yung part na zero product property, di ba? Kapag na-factor na natin, then equate natin yung dalawang factor sa zero. Okay, pabaligtad tayo. And then, ang gagawin natin dito, if foil method natin. So, x times x, that is x squared x times negative 12, that is negative 12x, negative 5x, uh, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, and negative 5 times negative 12, that is positive 60, equals 0. And then combine like terms, negative 12x, at saka negative 5x, negative 12 minus 5, that is negative 17. So yung equation natin dito, yung quadratic equation natin ay x square minus 17x plus 60 equals 0. So, diba? Given yung dalawang roots, so, nireverse lang natin yung process natin sa pag-solve ng um, roots ng isang quadratic equation, then, makukuha na natin yung quadratic equation given its roots. Yan yung method 1. Meron din naman tayong other method. So, method 2. So, given x sub 1, yung isang root, 5, x sub 2 is 12. So, paano natin, isolve muna natin si sum of the roots. So, gagawin lang natin, pag a natin yung dalawang roots. So, 5 plus 12, that is 17. And then, kung uh, balikan natin yung formula. Di ba yung x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals siya sa negative b over a? Pwede natin ngayon, i-rewrite to as negative b over a equals 17. Kung baga, di ba si x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equal siya sa 17 at equal din si x sub 1 plus x sub 2 kay negative b over a. So, therefore, si negative b over a ay equal din dapat sa 17. So, ito yung tinatawag nating transitive property. Okay? So, pwede rin natin i-rewrite dyan para tanggalin na lang yung negative doon. Pwede natin multiply both sides of the equation ng negative 1. Kaya, uh, nawala yung negative dito at naging negative naman si 17. Okay, so yung product of the roots naman. Product of the roots, multiply lang natin yung dalawang roots. So, 5 times 12, that is 60. And then, kunin natin yung formula natin kanina. So, x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. Tapos, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite as c over a equals 60 kasi si x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals siya sa 60. At si x sub 1 at times x sub 2 is also equal to c over a. So, therefore, si c over a at si 60 ay equal din. Okay? By transitive property. Um, pwede natin i-rewrite as c over a equals 60. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung sum at product ng roots. Ngayon, yung target kasi natin, hahanapin natin yung quadratic equation. Okay, given yung quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, pwede natin yan i-divide ng a. So, di-divide natin ng a para makancel natin itong a dito. Tapos, makuha natin ay, yung panibagong equation natin ay ganito. 
x square plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0. So, pares lang to. Pares lang yan. Baga tinanggal lang natin si a doon. Tapos, yun, nag naging ganito na siya. b over a, c over a. Okay? So, kung mapamansin nyo dito sa new, um, new equation natin, na meron tayong b over a at c over a. Si b over a, di ba? Kung titignan natin to b over a is equal to negative 17. So, ibig sabihin yan, class, is pwede natin palitan si b over a ng negative 17. At si c over a naman, makikita natin dito ay equal sa 60. So, pwede natin palitan si c over a ng 60. So, magiging makuha natin ganyan. Palitan natin si b over a ng negative 17 at si c over a ng 60. So, yung magiging equation natin ngayon ay x square minus 17x plus 60 equals 0. So, parehas lang yung nakuha natin doon sa unang method. So, yun yung process, yun yung way ng pagkuha ng quadratic equation given its roots. Kung baga, pabalitad yung ginagawa natin ngayon. For your activity, find the sum and the product of the roots of the following quadratic equations. So, we have x square minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. 5x square plus 10x minus 15 equals 0. And letter B, determine the quadratic equation given its roots. So, yung, giving, yung roots natin ay 3 and 4. So, hanapin natin yung quadratic equation. So, hanggang dito na lang tayo. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video lesson na ito. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin yung notification bell at uh, mag-iwan na rin kayo ng thumbs up, ng like kung nagustuhan nyo itong video lesson so paalam